thousands of patriotic citizens with hearts full of joy and hopeful anticipation gathered outside the eastern gate of the Republican Palace in the early morning of April 10, 1974 to watch the hosting ceremony of the new Republican banner of Afghanistan. The Republican Guard of Honor and military band were in line within the palace compound to participate in this historic and momentous occasion. The ceremony commenced with the band playing the national anthem. Mohammed Dawood, the hero of the Republican Revolution and our beloved national leader, is seen entering the main courtyard. And as the band played the national anthem, the president saluted and inspected the guard, which represented the valorous Republican army that, under the guidance of our heroic leader, gallantly ushered in the progressive Republican regime, and which army, with the first support and cooperation of all Afghans has pledged itself to protect and safeguard our young republic. <laughs> Having instructed the Guard of Honor, our national leader proceeded to reception line, headed by Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Mohammed Hassan Shah and which consisted of members of the Central Committee, high-ranking military and civil servant officials. The President exchanged greetings and accepted their felicitations on this auspicious occasion. In this part of the ceremony, in accordance with the tenets of Islam, verses were recited from the Holy Quran. The founder of the Republic and manifesto of our national aspirations then delivered an address to the nation from the Western. He said, Dear brothers and fellow countrymen, it is indeed an honor and great privilege for me to officially host for the first time today in the many thousands of years old glorious history of this ancient land, the banner of the new Republican order over the presidential palace. I do so by the grace of God and in the name of this noble nation, whose patriotic sons and valorous army proclaimed and established in accordance with the will of the people the Republican order on July 17, 1973. He said, the people's regime, the Republic, is not the inherited property of an individual or of a particular class, but the property of all and every Afghan who shall have the right to elect and appoint as their leader persons whom they deem worthy of that role. Our national leader added, ten months have passed since the establishment of the Republic, and during this period we have seen and learned much. At times, our belief and sincerity were questioned and at times we were accused of being devoid of an ideology. However, he continued, we and our conscience know so well of our accomplishments in the service to our country. But what time and prosperity be it struck? I must, however, impress upon those who have attributed this or that quality to us that their allegations are not only motivated by self-interest and are devoid of truth, but are an expression on the very ideal of patriotism and an insult to Afghan nationalism.
was destroyed through adults. But persons lacking conviction and principles have never and will never render great and valuable service to their homeland and society. During the past month, we said, we have heard many contradictory statements in the Pakistani press and radio and by responsible personalities of our country regarding our country and its relations with Pakistan. Referring to a recent statement made in Lahore by the Prime Minister of Pakistan, President Dari said, as categorically stated on numerous occasions, and I repeat once again, apart from the question of Pashtunistan and the destiny of our Pashtun and Baluch brethren, no other political difference exists between us and Pakistan. As far as the government of Afghanistan is concerned, our position is quite clear. We are ready and prepared for any kind of negotiation without set conditions or limits. The Afghan nation has always been and remains a peace-loving nation. It sees human prosperity and happiness in peace and goodwill. Mutual respect and friendship with all peoples and nations of the world have been and will continue to be the basis and directive of our foreign policy. What we have hosted today is our national standard, the symbol of our revolution and republican regime. This is a visible symbol of our independence, fraternity, and equality. Then our leader hosted the national flag of the Republic as a national anthem was being played. and students from the Military Academy, accompanied by school children and artists of Radio Afghanistan, sang the national anthem. A group of young children gathered around President and Prime Minister Dawood and presented bouquets of flowers to our beloved leader. They then made flowers at the foot of their new national flag. is seen here waving and taking hands with patriotic youth and citizens gathered at the palace gate who warmly greeted and cheered their heroic leader. Our beloved president then proceeded to make his way back to the presidential palace, followed by the tumultuous cheers and applause of a thousand strong outside the main gate. Groups of young and dedicated army officers 
were formed the national attack around the flagpole as the national banner fluttered majestically in the spring sunshine. national costumes too participated and the joyful cheers of spectators at the sight of our new flag heralded a new and prosperous era. God bless our republic, long live Afghanistan. <laughs>